students i welcome you all i hope you all fine be safe in your home in our last class we just started a new chapter right that is yes introduction to powerpoint presentation okay in that have you uh, remember that how to open a powerpoint presentation yes click on start menu and then select microsoft office it it displays in another box right it contains uh, microsoft word microsoft excel microsoft powerpoint okay it shows many options in that we have to click microsoft powerpoint 2010 okay when we click on that microsoft powerpoint 2010 it displays a blank presentation okay and then we saw about how to insert a slide and how to create a presentation using built in templates like this right in today's class we just recall it and then move on to today's topic okay this is the presentation that uh, we done in a previous class right actually uh, actually uh, in a word document a default name is Yes, a document one or document two. How many documents you have created? It will be named. For, uh, and then in the PowerPoint presentation, the default name was uh, given to that presentation is presentation one or presentation two. How many presentation we have opened uh, in the PowerPoint? It will be displayed there. Okay, like presentation one, presentation two, like that. If we have saved already saved a presentation, means Uh, we have saved this presentation right welcome to my class so that a presentation will be named as welcome to my class and then what are the components we see in powerpoint presentation yes the components are slide pen title bar ribbon a uh, status bar like that okay what is called a slide pen yes slide pen it is usually found on the left side of a window right it is placed thumbnails of a file like a thumbnails uh, how many slides you have inserted okay we will insert a four slides right so that a thumbnail shows four slides and the contents in it okay this is called slide pen and then what is the use of title bar yes title bar shows the title of a presentation okay uh, what is the title for this presentation yes welcome to my class because we have saved with this title and then what is the status bar in a status bar it shows uh, in a which slide we are okay we are in a first slide so that it shows one of four totally uh, we have created a four slides and we are in the first slide so it shows one of four if you have in a second slide means it shows two of four okay this is the uh, use of a status bar and then the ribbon this is called ribbon tab right it has many options like file menu home insert design transition animation slide show review view okay these are all the uh, menus contained in a ribbon tab and then uh, next we have seen about uh, how to create a presentation using built in templates right if we have if we want to uh, create a new presentation means click new and then some of our templates will be available okay these are the re, uh, built in templates available in the like uh, powerpoint presentation this is a, a sample template and then themes this is the themes we have uh, used for the presentation to look better to look uh, creative so that we use these themes also um i'll choose this theme 
for a new presentation. Okay. A new presentation will be available here and then uh, a default name given for the presentation is presentation and this is the second presentation we have opened here right so that it shows a presentation too and then uh, how to insert a new slide this is a title slide we have click welcome to my class okay this is a the title we have uh, given in the presentation then we have to add some more slides to present a slideshow right so that how to insert a slide click new slide it as a title slide title and content section editor title only uh, and the comparison if you, if you want to give a distinguish between or comparison between two things means they have used this comparison slide and the two content and the blank slide and the content with the caption okay we just click uh, insert a pictures also okay insert a pictures and then uh, give a content for that picture okay if you uh, click a, a monitor means we have done a role play right like that if, if you if you pay if you insert a picture of a monitor means in this content slide we have typed about the monitor Okay, what is the usage and how many keys in uh, sorry what is the usage of monitor and how it will be worked okay so that a content slide will be used and then if you want to create a blank presentation also we will create okay we will insert a lot of a uh, slides in it and then if you want to delete some slides means how we will delete Yes, click on that slide and then right click on your mouse button it shows these options right so that if you want to duplicate the same slide the content will also be duplicated if you click a duplicated means the same slide will be duplicated here okay if you if you done this welcome okay i'll tip uh, i'll type the welcome in this slide if i want to duplicate it means the content the word we are typed in that uh, slide also duplicated to the another slide okay it has duplicated and it is uh, two types sorry two slides okay so that i want to delete any one of those so that i'll click the slide and the right click and select delete slide the slide will be deleted okay and then how to saving the slide if you done creating a creating a slide and given animation okay how to save a slide yes in a file menu what is the shortcut key for saving a slide or saving as control plus yes is the shortcut key and then file menu click save the dialog box will be appear and then click the title for the title for the presentation welcome okay i have saved welcome so that the title will be changed from presentation 2 to welcome okay and then changing background styles also right and for that in a design tab a many themes if you want to uh, change the theme also we can change it in the design tab okay in a design we have so many themes okay if i want to click this means i'll click so that the theme will be changed okay here we can see the changes okay by using this we can change your theme of a presentation
theme of a slide and then if you want to uh, change the background color means format background background in a background style click format background and it has a solid fill gradient fill okay uh, in a solid fill we have change a color a solid colors okay i'll click red color so that a green color will be changed as red color okay this is the use of solid fill if i'll click a yellow color means a red color is changed to yellow color and in the gradient fill gradient means it has two colors uh, merged in it you okay, like that we can see the changes in the uh, in this side light color from the dark color okay if you want your slide to be a very light means this side and then if you want your slide will be a dark side so that decrease the size okay by using this we can change i'll i'll click a green color only but we can change the contraction of a color we can change the color here also in the red color okay like this we have create a colorful presentation and then we have picture or texture fill in a texture we have seen that right if you want to uh, fill with a fish means the background will be changed like this uh, we have changed our present uh, sorry background of a slide if you click apply to all all the slides will be changed like that okay okay here you can see the changes and then a pattern fill in a pattern fill we may give a two colors also okay like this we can change the pattern a like a straight line round um cross line okay dotted line like that if you want to uh, if you want to give a pattern a pattern fill to your presentation uh, if you think it will it will be uh, so good to attract okay so that it will be used i didn't give apply to all okay so that that slide uh, will be changed into that pattern color and then formatting text and color formatting text means what are the formatting tools we have seen in the word processor yes to change a font styles font size font color okay in this also we can change the font styles also if uh, for that we have to select that word right select that and then click a font styles a uh, many font styles will be available so click any one of that so that the font will be changed and then if you want to be your text will be uh, larger means we have to increase the size of our text for that we use font size okay then we want to change the color of this text means change the font color by using this font color we can change the color of a text okay then the next is changing alignment okay in a word processor we have seen that what are the four types of alignments yes left alignment right alignment center and justify okay in a presentation we have uh, options in a two options right a web in a vertical manner or in a horizontal manner in a vertical manner we have three types 
Okay, that is top, middle, and bottom. Okay, what are the alignments? Okay, just type some paragraph here. Okay. Positioning of text in a placeholder is called alignment. Okay, I type this line. The alignment in a vertical manner or a top, middle, and the bottom. Right. We have changed the position. We have changed the alignment to a top. This is called top alignment. And if you want your, uh, this paragraph will be in the center. That is middle means we have click drag and drop here and place it here. This is a middle alignment. And then if you want to, uh, if you want your paragraph to be in the bottom of that slide means drag and drop here. Okay, by using this we can drag and drop everywhere like top, middle and bottom. And then the uh, the horizontal manner in uh, like this word processor in horizontal manner also it has four types that is left alignment, right alignment, center alignment, and justify. This is actually it is in left alignment. And then if, if I click a right alignment means it will be changed. We can able to change uh, see the changes right. If I click a center alignment means uh, the text will be in a center. Okay, the justify means it is the default. And then the next is inserting word art. Okay. If I click a, if I want to give a topic for this paragraph. Okay, what is the topic? Uh, alignment. Okay. In the insert tab, we have word art option. Okay, in a word art option, if I click that, it shows these designs. Okay, if I want to, if I want my text to be in this uh, type means, I'll click that. It asks something. Okay, that, that is your text here. We, we have to write our text here. Okay. Click on that. And then click alignment. Okay. This is the title. They are given this. Given for this paragraph. Okay. By using this word art, we can uh, give an a uh, our topic to be so attractive. Okay. And then inserting clip art. In a word processor also we have used this clip art option. Okay. In a word processor, uh, what are the steps to use clip art? Insert the clip art images. Yes, insert and then it has the clip art option. Click on the clip art and then in the right side of your page, a clip art option will be uh, displayed. Okay, the clip part will be displayed here.
okay, the prepared display uh, will be displayed here. In that, we have type of flower. Okay, if you want to uh, insert a flower in majors means type flower. And then the flower images will be displayed here. Okay. So that will choose any flower and click insert. So that a flower will be inserted. Okay. The flower will be inserted in this slide. We can resize the flower also. Okay. By using this daughter. We can resize the flower pictures. Okay, by using this, uh, we can insert a clip art pictures in a PowerPoint presentation. And then inserting shapes. Okay, for inserting shapes, I'll choose in another slide. What are the steps to insert a shape? Insert shape will be available on which menu? Sorry, uh, yes, insert menu. In that insert menu, we have shapes. Click on that shape. We have so many shapes. Uh, what are the basic shapes we have known that? Yes, circle, rectangle, triangle, square. Okay, these are the basic shapes we have seen and known. Okay, and then it has many, uh, many sh shapes like a cloud shape, a star. Okay. And then an arrow symbols also here. And then a text box. If you want to uh, add a topic for your presentation or add a topic for your paragraph also, we can click the text box. And then it asks to type something here. I'll click topic. Okay, this is the topic. So that it will be, uh, a topic will be assigned to that. And then the next is, the next shapes is, uh, the it has arrow and then square, rectangle like that. Okay, we can insert a oval shape. Okay, in oval shape we have, if you want to change the style for that uh, shape means or uh, if you want to change the color for that shape means it has the options like it is, it is in format. Okay. I'll click red color so that a, a shape's color will be changed. Okay. We can able to see the changes here. And then it has some shape effects and the shape outline. We can change the width of the outline. Okay, here we can see the outline for the shapes. And then we have shape effects. We have seen in previous lessons also, right? A shadow effect, reflection effect, glow effect, soft edges, reveal, 3D rotation, like that. Okay. I click so, uh, 3D rotation effect to that shape and then inserting pictures uh, inserting pictures okay we have two options for insert a picture that is we can uh, insert a picture by hard disk or by online okay If you want to open a picture from the hard disk means in the insert tab we can add, we, we add a option called picture option and then click picture okay. 
in a hard disk uh, what are the pictures you have stored it will be displayed here okay i just screenshot Okay, if I click this screenshot and click insert means a screenshot will be inserted. Okay, but the image will be so bigger. Okay, I want this uh, this cartoon pic only. Okay, so that I have to emit this. Okay, for that click crop and then the black lines will be displayed. Okay, drag and drop this black lines. and then choose the picture by using this we can cut the picture in that uh, full picture okay cut the uh, this cartoon only and then if i click a i click more than one uh, more than one times means so that i have to delete some pictures in that okay uh, i want this picture only i want to delete this picture means click on that picture and then right click on that the delete option will be available or we have a cut option okay in the cut option we can Uh, click a cut so that the picture will be gone then we have animation tab in the animation tab we have four entrance effects like uh, entrance effects emphasis exit option okay Entrance animation. This is what. Uh, this is what. This is a special effect which is generally applied on bullets of the text okay, because it manages the appearance of any object in a slide, such as uh, fade, bounce. Okay. If I click a uh, bounce, means so the picture will be entrance with that animation. Okay. If I click this, the picture will be displayed like that. I'll click zoom so that the picture will be zoomed in. And in the random box, okay. By using this, we can change the animation for that images or objects. Okay. Then we have emphasis. Emphasis means. Uh, Uh, this is the main. What, what is the main purpose of this emphasis effect? Means, uh, to using this effect is to get attention from the audience. Okay. Expin. And then teeter. Okay. By using this, we can get an uh, attention from the audience. And then exit animation. what is the use of exit animation it means it is uh, it is an effect that an object disappears from the slide how the object will be disappears from the slide it will be shown in the exit option okay if i click a fade means the object will be faded and then exited in the powerpoint presentation and if i click a bounce means object will be bouncing and then exited okay for this of uh, for these users uh these four effects will be uh, these four animations will be used and then the last is motion paths okay in the motion paths if you want to uh, move your move this girl into this position okay so that i'll click custom path and then 
draw a line and then click enter so that the the girl will be moved to that side okay if you want to give a motion part to that picture or if you want to give a motion part to that object means i'll uh, we all choose a motion part in the animation tab okay by using this we can give a animation okay in a ad in a tv advertisements and in, how many of you watch cartoon movies as in a cartoon movies we have so many animation right a cartoons will be moved from uh, from there okay one place to another place okay we may also create a animation effects for that cartoon also by using this powerpoint presentation okay in a powerpoint presentation what are the four animation effects available in that let us entrance effect emphasis exit and motion path okay it will be give the motion effect to that object and then okay let us stop with this and we'll continue this in next class thank you students